to be able to synthesize digital circuits into physical layout photometrics. Open row can be used. This is a circuit design of greatest common divisor in RTL level description with entities of storage registers, data paths, and control units. Run open road to generate final layout follow mix through steps of synthesis, circuit partitioning, place and route, cell mapping, and finally arriving at GDS photo mix data. The synthesized layout can be viewed or edited with clear out editor. The various layers of photolithographic masks could be visualized in three dimension in GDS 3D application. Top layer views on implant, polysilicon, metal 1, metal 2, and metal 3 can be displayed for clarity. Let's go back to the original state and go through the open row installation steps. From Windows System, bring on Segment Platform and open up X Terminals. Start Midnight Commander for the convenience of navigating through directories. To install Open Road, go to URL Open Road Project at GitHub. Clone Open Road Project flow to local disk. In addition to main Open Road flow, all required supporting libraries will be checked out as part of the cloning. Compile it with shell script build open road shell. There's compile difficulty with string library and it can be fixed in compiler flag in user's mic file. Continue building code. Notice while user is compiled, the other build thread is checking out ABC code from GitHub and being part of the build. User is now built or right. ABC library build also completed and move on to Triton route. However, it has found the boost library version being too old. Go ahead download the minimum required boost library revision 1.68 from the net. Copy the downloaded boost to the user temporary directory and extract the boost library. Rename the existing old boost library and drop in the new one. Resume building code. Similar string library error encountered in trend route. And for trend route, the compiler flags can be added through CMake script. Go back to build again. Trend route is now built without any errors. Moving on to trend clock tree synthesis, and found it has dependency upon lemon graph library. Download the latest Lemon library. Move the download Lemon source to the user build directory. Extract the source. Configure the build for Lemon with CMake. Compile with Make. Install Lemon package with Make install. With Lemon install and fulfill the prerequisite. Go back continue building open row. Scroll back up to see error messages. Stream library errors. Compiler flags can be added to resolve most of the problems. Compiler flag for OpenDB. For .h include file, we could go ahead and implement string dupe code in replacement. Compiler flags for the open static timing analysis. Resume building. Previous bail errors has been addressed. Move on to see new bail errors. Scroll back up for failure messages. Stream compare error. Memory API not found. Random number function not present. In string utility. Implement code for string compare with specified lengths in for loop.
replace the call. Let's implement code for string compare with case insensitivity by converting layers to lowercase for compare in while loop. Copy and paste the code. Paste the code again and adjust based on the inputs. In try and place, add GNU compiler flags. Resolve random number generator errors. Continue compiling open row. Encounter file system location errors. Specify the sequence file system location. Resume the bill. Debug print statement failures encounter. Once again, fix them with the compiler flag in CMake script. Go back to Bill. Now open row and all libraries including users ABC Boost, Lemon, OpenDB, Trend, Place, Trend Route, just to name a few are finally built or right and executable open row is generated. For open row to generate GDS layout data, Clayout is used. Go to GitHub, clone Clayout and check out Saigon Bill branch. Check out Clayout branch for Segwin build. Exercise build shell script to build Clayout. An executable Clayout was built already. Come with open row, there's an example design, greatest common divisor circuit. Set up clear out execution path. And set up open row execution path as well. Execute open row with example Verilog design to produce final layout GDS. The photo mask layout can be viewed or edited in clear Application GDS 3D can be used to visualize the layout in three dimensions. Copy the resource circuit layout to GDS 3D directory. Replicate an existing technology file for the GDS layout. Find the GDS layer number information. And edit GDS 3 tech file with corresponding layer numbers. Run GDS 3D with generated GDS layout of the GCD circuit. Take a flash look at the 3D circuit. The circuit can be rotated, displaced, reversed, zoom in and out, and expanded between the layers to get a bite. That concludes the presentation. Gracias. Hasta la vista. Adios.